all right y'all what's going on guys back again with another video back again with another video back 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 again with another video so when you see this gorgeous face once again you already know that there's more pokemon go info so in today's video we're gonna be talking about the community day event but uh this video is not gonna be that long it's, in fact it's, it's gonna be short and with that being said plus as you can already tell my battery is getting low so i went ahead and get this news out to you guys but uh so yeah we're not gonna jump into that video now, but we're gonna jump into that video right now. Let's go. All right guys, so basically before I start this video, I just wanna give a shout out and a happy birthday, a very happy birthday to my man Ice Cube. Um, yeah, you know, my YouTube channel couldn't be possible without him. No, I'm just kidding. But no, really, uh, all jokes aside, I, I just want to say, I know he's never going to see this video probably, but just still want to say happy birthday to him anyway, because, you know, we're June babies. My birthday is the end of this month. So anyway, special shout out to Ice Cube. Now, back into this video. Now, here's a SmackDown stats nerfed in Game Master Update, June 14, 2018. Now, for some reason, Niantic or their updates are always nerfing Pokemon, the movesets, Mewtwo's been nerfed, I believe Alexander's been nerfed, Lapras has been nerfed, and a number of countless Pokemon has been nerfed. And well, now, we're gonna jump into how SmackDown uh, stats have been nerfed also. So here it says, SmackDown stats have been changed in the Game Master file, nerfing Tyranitar's upcoming Community Day exclusive move when compared to the previous state base. Now, the Game Master file, the Game Master was updated sometime after June 7th, but we're not sure when it happened. So here's what changed. All right, so basically, you got the power, the cooldown, the DMG start, DMG end, energy, and the EPS. Uh, now down below, uh, you're gonna know what EPS stands for if you don't already know, because I didn't know what it stood for, but now I do. Uh, anyway, it says here, you got the old and the new versions of the power, cooldown, DMG start, etc., etc. So you got. 12, which was the old power, 16, which was the, is the new power, cooldowns to 900 MS, and then the new cooldown is 1200 MS, DMG start is 500 MS, and the new DMG start is 800 MS, the, DM, the old DMG end is 800 MS, and the new DMG, DMG end is 1100 MS. You got the old energy, which is plus seven, and then you got the new energy, which is plus eight. And then you got the EPS, um, the old EPS, that's 7.8 EPS, and then you got the new EPS, uh, which is 6.7 EPS. Now I know a lot of people are wondering, is Tyranitar still gonna be the strongest rock type of attacker? And we'll get into that, because I already know the answer, but I don't wanna give it away just yet. So, here it says, although these changes are not huge, they do impact SmackDown Tyranitar in a few interesting ways. Now this is how. So SmackDown's T-Tar will still be the strongest rock type attacker. So therefore, the answer to that is yes. Guys, I'm sorry for the train that's coming right now. So it's making a lot of noise. All right, so back into it. So I just had to uh, basically get rid of all that train noise. I'm sorry for that anyway, guys. Uh, so anyway here, it says, but it loses efficiency over the past stat bundle. However, don't be alarmed, as SmackDown Stone Age Tyranitar still performs around 15% better than any golem you currently have. Uh, I've noticed, every time I make a video, I'm always getting these notifications. But anyway, can't let that disrupt my video. So anyway, uh, basically here, um, it says Tyranitar still performs around 50% better than any golem you currently have. So basically, the answer, like I said, is yes. Tyranitar will still be the strongest rock type attacker, but uh, as long as it has SmackDown and Stone Age, because uh, that's basically the strongest moveset for Tyranitar now since SmackDown coming out. Um, so basically, it'll be stronger than Golem. And but the thing is, remember when Gen 4 comes out, Rampardos. Uh, is actually going to be stronger than Tyranitar. A lot of people don't know that. Now, Kranidos 
no, no, no. Kratos is the first form, and it involves Rampardos. Rampardos is actually going to be uh, stronger than Tyranitar instead of Kratos. So, once we get Gen 4, Tyranitar, this Tyranitar right here will no longer be the strongest. Rampardos will. So, I just want to throw that in, in there uh, because I found out I did my homework, so I'm letting you guys know. So, anyway, here it says uh, the energy per second. That's what EPS stands for, by the way. The energy per second has been nerfed from 7.8 to 6.7 energy per second, which is identical to Waterfall, a move commonly found on Kyogre and Gyarados. Now, so where does that leave us? Well, it's going to be a bit harder to charge up Tyranitar Stone Edge as it takes a minimum of 15.6 seconds to get to 100 energy with the new Smackdowns. 13 usage, usages, and that's without any lag and, and with millisecond perfect execution. All right, so basically here, as a reward, you will deal more damage, but you won't be the super fast charge, fire charge, firestone, edge cannon we expected Tyranitar to be. We just want to reemphasize that Tyranitar is not ruined by this change. It's simply properly balanced now. So basically, it's not like ruined, it's not messed up or anything. That's why it's still going to be the strongest uh, rock type attacker, uh, aside from Golem and any other Pokemon. So. That's actually pretty cool. Um, here's how Tyranitar's movesets look now in terms of Cycle, DPS, and TTFA, which stands for Time to First Activation. So you guys can actually pause this video and actually go through this. And uh, I'll see if I can enlarge the screen so you guys can... So you got Smackdown, Bite, Smackdown, Smackdown, Bite, Bite, Iron Tail, Iron Tail, Iron Tail. And then obviously here you see all the rest of the movesets. Stone Edge, Stone Edge. Crunch, Fire Blast, Crunch, Fire Blast, Stone Edge, Crunch, Fire Blast. So basically here, this is the uh, full game master code for SmackDown and it looks like this. Uh, let me show you guys. So basically here, you got the item underscore template. Uh, you got move underscore SmackDown underscore down underscore fast. I'm not going to go through all of this, but you guys can actually pause the video and actually go through all of this. Just in case you want to check it out. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, this is going to be a short video. Uh, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, sub. Share this video wherever you share cool stuff. Comment down below. Smack a like on this video. Crush the notification bell so you can stay updated on my latest videos. Turn on the post notifications, uh, like I said, so you can get my videos. Because, like, they, um, from what I'm hearing is, like, YouTube, for some reason, isn't, like, giving out notifications to subscribers. So they won't know that uh, they uploaded a video. But anyway, guys, um, that's going to wrap this video up. Peace and love. Stay blessed. Keep your head up. Be humble. And stay blessed. And I'm out. Peace.